and the show goes on. Just a short introductory here till we get on to these crankshafts that goes in this year McCormick Deer and Type M, one and a half horsepower that we're working on today. The finished crankshaft concentric testy test stand. This is the finished. This we're going. We it's it's done. There's just no more to do to it. And if you can see from the last time I did add this extra bearing uh, with this overarm to put pressure on, it's a, it's a three-point contact on the shaft that you're checking for straightness. We, we, we're going to use it just in a minute. But this is the finished, it's the finished uh, uh, test stand, multi-purpose. Uh, if you don't have one of these... Uh, you know how, how how have you made it? How have you made it this far without owning a truing stand? Let's say that's enough of that. Let's get on with the show. And as to the versatility of this machine, this is a that's a quarter inch rod, and this these arms right here are movable. The this if 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 I wanted to check the trueness of this this quarter inch shaft and I would put that right there and then I'd bring this up here I'd bring that down there tighten this up and then when I come up and put pressure on that and tighten this wing nut down here on both sides putting pressure onto the onto the shaft itself then then you do not get the it's 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 in position and and there is enough pressure on that where when you turn this all bearings turns and there was a comment if if I, if I might just answer a comment really quick there was a comments on bearing run out well you know in in real in reality you're going to have some bearing run out it's just something that we have to we have to deal with that there is going to be some amount ever how minuscule it is but they will be some taking that in consideration these are precision ball bearings sealed brand new out of the box so it's as good as i can get i cannot i can't get no better bearings in in my world than i'm using here so with that said it's good enough it's good enough no need to worry about bearing run out in this in this type in this type test stand, it's perfectly acceptable. And, and it is well, the, the point here is I'm showing you the versatility that it actually can go down and check the trueness of about an eighth of an inch uh, shaft. And also, you can go up with it, with these are adjustable, and you actually. This one happens to be one and a half inch, but the machine is actually capable of going up to uh, about a six inch. This will go back, this will come up here, and like four and a half, four and a half with these length arms here. I actually could make a longer arm here, and you see that I did, I did cut out a notch in the bottom there to clear everything that needs to be cleared for this size. Keep that in mind if you are going to build one. Now let's check them crankshafts. Enough with this. This is how you would use the machine. Put them back out of the way. The crankshaft I'm using today is out of a one and a half horsepower McCormick Deering Type M. The machine is expandable, if I may uh, kind of just bring us up to date. It can be moved out even past this a little bit more, and then it can move in until these touches, if, if need be. I kind of built the machine to check uh, this, this size flywheels. But just as we go along, what the way you do that is you tighten this you tighten this arm up in a, in a position where it's smaller than the shaft that you're checking. Tighten that really tight. Then when you when you 
push that up to the center line of the shaft that you're checking then it will be tight and then you tighten this up securing that uh, also another option would be to drill a small hole here a small hole here and put a spring in there if needed to be later I have not found the need for that as of yet this seems to work pretty good uh, just tighten that up smaller than the shaft and then make that right up on the center of that bring this adjustment down here in tight now we have secured the crankshaft to the test machine and as you can see when I turn it all all bearings turns equally amount this one, this bearing holds, it holds it in a firm position. I'd like to have that a little bit tighter. So I'm going to redo it. Okay, if it ain't right, do it again. Crankshaft in position. The, uh, little, 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 let's, let's back up. Let's back up. The bearing, it's quite important that, that you actually, then this, this particular one here is for the International. Different brands of engines has different clearances and tolerances. But this is the top half of the Babbitt bearing uh, die cast replaceable type. And as you can see, by, and I have not had any emery cloth or sandpaper on the shaft yet. I did work it with a file to bring down any high places and, and just kind of clean it up. If, any, if you can, good advice from anyone to anyone is do not use sandpaper on a shaft because the sand particles will get embedded in the metal and, and it will cause problems later. So any work that you can do with a metal object is better. At some point, I will take an emery cloth to this and put it in a... We'll, we'll get to that. But this, uh, the bar, this, this crankshaft could actually talks to you. It, it, it the, uh, to explain it. 